Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Nico V here back with another episode of Partner in a Year, the series where I um, discuss the steps I'm trying to take to get the title of Twitch Partner within the span of one year. Um, I'm going to do this one really quick because I do have somewhere to go relatively soon. Um, just trying to knock this out in the morning, you know. Um, but let's talk about what we what we did this, this past week. Um, Monday, we got to play Postal Brain Damage. Postal Brain Damaged... Mwah. chef's kiss of a game postal brain damage was like just so good because I, I i for one i've had the i've had the urge to play doom eternal again um doom eternal most people know is one of my favorite shooters of all time favorite i think it's the best i literally think doom eternal is the best single player first person shooter experience that there is on the market i don't think anything even comes close when it comes to just like gameplay and engagement, right? Um, so what Postal Brain Damage is, is it is a essentially a Doom Eternal clone. Some of the level design is a little more reminiscent of older Boomer shooters, whereas Doom Eternal is definitely just more linear and it is just kind of taking you on this roller coaster. Um, Postal Brain Damage has more stuff where it's like you're exploring a bigger map, things are more maze-like, you're using keys to unlock doors and stuff like that. Um, a little reminiscent of the older games, or like Doom 2016. But when I first got Postal, I thought that Postal was a boomer shooter. So when I played Postal 2, I was really confused as to why it was just walking simulator and an FPS game that wasn't really a boomer shooter. It was more like it felt more like like a COD type game. What well, not really because there was health and stuff, but like you know what I'm saying. It wasn't it didn't have the same game mechanics or the same like fast paced gameplay that a, a, a boomer shooter you you would expect a boomer shooter to have, and I think that Postal Brain Damaged is so good because it, it it is literally a Doom Eternal clone. Like that's just that's just part that's just like what it is. Um, and I think it's a shameless Doom Eternal clone. And quite frankly, I think it's okay because the gameplay does the gameplay is really good. the The movement isn't as smooth as Doom Eternal because you don't have a dash; you have a slide instead. Um, the meat hook, super shotgun, which is literally you know the Doom Eternal classic super shotgun meat hook that doesn't uh that that doesn't like it doesn't give you as much freedom with your movement you can't really like eat yourself off of stuff as much as you can in doom eternal but either way it's still it's still very very good and quite frankly i think that postal brain damage it, it is still a little edgy with humor you know it is a little meta but apart from that i think it's a really fun game a really fun experience and i really do look forward to playing it um later on uh, what did i do after that uh tuesday is when me and the boys got back together uh, me jared garrett and dill dill hasn't been on the stream for a while so it was really nice to see him again and i'm really happy that uh really happy he could join us and we could play some games again um because you know uh spent a lot of time with that guy on the warhammer channel so any chance that we have to play games together is more than welcome and we all got back together for another round of uh, vermintide 2 and in vermintide 2 um we we were just uh, we were just running through it and uh, we were just hanging out chilling and that was that was a really really nice stream because me and garrett have this thing where me and him play a game and that's kind of like what we've been doing for the past couple months where like us together get like it's 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 both of us playing a co-op game so playing uh with four people was nice um they're nice on conversations bouncing up bouncing off of each other and uh it's it was it was a lot of it was a lot of good fun um this is all i'm gonna say about it uh, i got to kill some rats with some chums and yeah so um how am i doing uh how am i doing in in the in, in the head uh in the, in the mental state because part of these vlogs have started to to I've started to talk about how I'm feeling mentally. Um, and I think that um, I'm doing better. I think, let's just say that uh, I feel like a lot of my problems have been revolving around one. I, I don't want to get too specific, obviously, because, you know, this stuff's kind of personal. But um, I'm just trying to vent my feelings rather than tell you exactly what's going on. Um, but I just want to say that I feel like most of my problems... I was, I, I, I was stuck on one decision that I feel like I had to make. And I feel like I, I feel like I was giving myself an ultimatum or, 
Yeah, I was giving myself an ultimatum and I was basically saying that this is going to go this thing, this thing that I'm dealing with is going to go one of two ways. And if I do it like this, it's going to end up one way. And if I do it like that, it's going to end up another way. And I was really stressing out because neither of the ways seemed terribly good for me. But I I took a step back and I was able to open up to um, open up to some friends, open up to people that are really supportive and um Let's just say good with advice because I think they gave me the advice that I needed and they just kind of took me aside and they said that what with, with the scenario that I'm playing in my mind is not true um, and that I was making it out to be way worse than I was making it out to be way worse than uh, than, it, than it really was and I think that was important for me to hear because this person has dealt with what I am experiencing right now, uh, before in the past. And to hear it from them was very good. And I'm, I'm glad I could sit down and talk with them because that's essentially what I was doing. I, I was just kind of overblowing things in my mind and that was causing me more stress leading up to it. And now that I've done that, I have made a decision that I'm going to move forward with. And then I'm going to, hopefully it's going to, it's going to let me move past this thing that's been bothering me for the past a uh, couple weeks and hopefully I can just go from there um but yeah so uh again I'm gonna cut this one a little short um I, I'm, I'm always happy to update you guys every week but I do have to get somewhere in a few minutes so we're gonna cut this one a little short um thank you guys so much for watching I will see you next week uh, stream schedule should be, should be up soon um but yeah thank you guys